Okay, a mass on a spring vibrates in simple harmonic motion at this frequency, 4 Hz, 4 Hz, and an amplitude of 4 cm. If a timer is started when its displacement is a maximum, what is the speed of the mass when time equal to 3 seconds? Okay, good. So, uh, this one, uh, uh, actually this is not in our syllabus, yeah, but because it has the what we call the initial phase angle it has the initial phase angle um, this one the timer start when the displacement is as maximum and that means this one is not in our syllabus but i still do it because for for your knowledge yeah this one that mean it means when time equal to zero second uh, the displacement the displacement is maximum at amplitude okay it start at uh, amplitude so the graph is actually what I, can, what I can say the graph is actually like this uh, xt graph yeah, displacement time graph when time go to zero second when time go to zero second it start from maximum amplitude uh, the graph start from here Sorry, draw it carefully. Ah, understand? So this is considered as uh, one period, one as two period. Okay, uh, uh, one period, uh, two period, one wavelength, two wavelength. Isn't it? Okay, uh, so you start with uh, amplitude. Okay, this is negative amplitude. So what graph is this? The normal graph you saw, the normal graph you saw is uh, sorry. Let's hold on a second. Ah, okay. So the number no the in our syllabus we study this um, uh, at time zero the displacement start from zero right uh, so our displacement graph is actually a sine graph you see it's a sine graph uh, it's a sine graph so the formula is a sine omega t uh, our formula is for displacement is a sine omega t uh, look at our equation. Our equation for displacement time displacement is a sine omega t, uh, a sine omega t, right? Uh, so our graph is a uh, sine graph. Uh, however, for this question, he say the at time start the displacement is not at zero. The displacement is at maximum. That means displacement is an amplitude. So our graph is not a sine graph. It's a cos graph. Uh, so our formula becomes what? Our formula becomes uh, a uh, a cosine omega t uh, a cosine omega t. So that's the formula of displacement time of uh, displacement time for these questions for these questions. Okay, we, if you use a sine omega t, then you you cannot find the answer. Uh, you must use the formula a cos omega t. Because it starts from maximum displacement. Okay, when time started, time goes zero, the displacement is as maximum. That means it's a cosine graph. The cosine graph, not the not the sine graph. Okay, so or we can translate this into uh, what you have never learned, which is you want to write sine equation also can, but you must use plus uh, pi over two. Ah, so this is actually like of initial phase constant. Uh, we can say this one is like you know, compare it a, a sorry omega t plus phi. Uh, so we can say from here our phi is actually pi over two. Our phi is uh, pi over two. This uh, initial phase angle. Ah. Uh, so if you uh you know plus uh the equation sign you plus pi over two, uh, you actually shifting the y axis to the to the left. 
Uh, you are shifting y axis 90 degree to the left. Okay. No, no. I mean, from a sine graph, we're shift, shifting the y axis. Uh, then you can get a cosine, cosine graph. Uh, okay. So, uh, all right. I'm not, no, sh not shifting the y axis, shifting the whole graph. Uh, shifting the whole graph. And what I did tell you this about shifting the, the whole graph in uh, one of the videos. Yeah, still, you please look up for that. Yeah, how to change the graph from sine graph, from the, you know, the, when you have something plus inside the angle, how do you shift the graph to get the other, the, uh, the other equations? Yeah, uh, how from sine become cos, yeah, from and so on. Yeah, I made a, a video for that already. Okay, so um, yeah, so this is a cosine graph. Okay, this is the most important. You must use this one. Okay, these two formula is the same. Yeah, cosine omega t is the same as sine omega t plus pi over two. These two formula is the same. Okay, you can change you can change this one into this one, cosine graph. So now you have what other form uh, things given? You have frequency. You have amplitude. Uh, this is the is the amplitude but this one in centimeter you need to change to meter yeah uh, change to meter so the amplitude yeah change to si unit so divide by 100 get 0 0.04 meter that's basic so we want to find speed uh, we want to find speed at three seconds so we need we need what what equation we need velocity time equations we need velocity time equations before we can find the speed understand so that means we we uh, we need to build the displacement equation first. We already know that the most important thing, which is the equation for displacement, is a cosine equation, not the sine equation. Yeah, not the usual sine equation we use in our syllabus. Uh, this is a special equation for displacement. It's not a sine omega t, but it's a cos omega t because of this. Because they say the time start when displacement is maximum. Okay, uh, because if uh, if you know, if you say, if, if you say time, if you say time starts, because the usual one is we use this one, time starts when displacement uh, is zero. Uh, that means t equal to zero, x equal to zero. And then this one, the equation is, then the equation is uh, the u, our usual one, our usual equation, understand? Our usual equation when time starts when displacement is zero, e zero, x zero. Ah, this is our equation a sine omega t. Ah, our usual one. This is our usual one. Ah, but this question is a special one. This question is a special one. Ah, he say displacement is not zero. Displacement is not zero. Displacement is maximum. Uh, that so our equation be from sine, our equation from a sine uh, a sine omega t, a sine omega t become a cos omega t. Uh, understand? Remember that? Understand that? Okay. So our equation of displacement now is a special one. So we already got the equation for displacement. Now we need to find what's the amplitude and what's the omega. So amplitude we know is zero point zero four. We already from centimeter change to meter. But the omega we need to find for frequency. So omega is um, we need to find for frequency first. So omega, oh sorry. Uh omega. So omega we find for frequency. Omega is 2 pi f. Right? Uh, omega is 2 pi f. So our frequency given is 4 hertz. Uh, 4 hertz. So uh, 2 pi times 4. Frequency is 4. So you get 8 pi. Uh, radian per second uh, so it's 8 pi yeah so okay now write down the equation for displacement time it is 0 0.04 uh, cosine omega is 8 pi uh, 8 pi and then t uh, and then you can write the unit you must always write the unit where x in meter uh, t in second uh, because we already changed everything to SI unit because your amplitude already in meter your amplitude already in meter so your displacement must be in meter okay so that's our formula now we need to differentiate that 
that equation to velocity equation. Uh, then only you can find the velocity at that time, 3 seconds. Yeah? So now differentiate. So velocity is uh, dx over dt. So differentiate that, we get what? We get, you know, differentiate. Okay. First, we differentiate outside. We differentiate outside. Then after that, we differentiate inside. Differentiate outside. Uh, differentiate cos, you get negative sign. You get negative sign. Remember the negative, negative, okay? And then this is a 0.4. Differentiate, differentiate cos, we get negative sign. We get negative sign. Ah, differentiate cos, we get negative sign. And then uh, rewrite the things inside. Uh, now we differentiate inside, differentiate inside, we get 8 pi, we get 8 pi. To switch this here. Okay, we get 8 pi, so multiply 8 pi, uh, multiply 8 pi. So this 8 pi, we multiply to the front, we multiply to the front. So what do we get? We get um, negative uh, 0 point, oh wait, wait, let me calculate first. Uh, let me calculate first, point zero four. Multiply 8 pi. Okay, it is negative. What is it? Uh, okay, I get, after multiply, I get negative 1.00. Zero zero, uh, multiply 0.00. Zero zero, 5, 3, 5, 3, 1. Uh, okay, so uh, uh, I multiply already. So sine 8 pi t. Okay, that's my velocity time equation. I got ready. Now, what's the next step is we substitute the time. Uh, time we substitute with uh, 3 seconds. Uh, time we substitute with 3 seconds. And then we can get the velocity. We can get the velocity. So velocity is um, line negative 1. Okay, then we uh, substitute, substitute it and multiply sine 8 pi times, uh, oh, I need to change, now remember this one you must change to, um, you know, you need to change to, uh, uh, remember this one you must use, this one here, this one you must use what, you must use uh, radian, uh, you must use radian, yeah, radian, and uh, cannot use degree, degree wrong, uh, degree is wrong, understand? Uh, so let's substitute, yeah, let's substitute. So negative 1.00531 sine and 8 pi multiply 3. Uh, so let's find the speed, okay, multiply. So change your calculator into uh, radian, change it to radian. Okay, let's calculate. I get zero. The speed is zero. Uh -huh. Okay, is what's the answer? Uh -huh, the answer is zero. Maybe it's too small. Yeah, the value. So the answer is zero. Ah, uh, okay. So that's the answer. Zero. Alright. So, uh, I hope you understand the questions. Okay. Uh, and that's all. Remember, this one must be in radian, not degree. Okay, that's all. Bye-bye.